being a very deep cricket uh, enthusiast and now somewhat involved with the sport, I see with uh, admiration the rise and rise and rise of Virat Kohli. I see his energy on the field, I see his energy off the field. I see the way he's transforming and rewriting the rules of the game. Uh, the T20 format, 140 to 160 was par <laughs> score. He has redefined it. Now 190 is sub par. 250. 250, 240. There is something within him that propels him more than others. There are many people who are talented. There are many people who have this ability, but there are few who realize this ability. What is it that takes one to realize that he can do a little more, he can inspire more, he can create more, he can create new standards. Is there something from within or is it something from outside? What is it? I've also been watching Virat Kohli with interest <laughs> because uh, I've seen every great batsman in the last forty, forty-five years. Very few have hit the ball the way he's hitting it. Probably the only other person that I can think of is Vivian Richards who used to hit the ball like this. I think he was the only one who was striking the ball the way this boy is striking today, which is very rare. Most people who have watched only cricket on the television don't understand this probably. It's one of the most dangerous games on the planet. A hard ball is coming at you over 130, 140 kilometers per hour and this is the only sport where the ball is pitched and it swings this way, that way, which gives you a fraction of a second to make your decision how to handle that ball. It's… it's a very dangerous game. You must… Uh, you know, there are bowling machines, they may be there in uh, Calcutta, yes? The bowling machines are there. Young man, I'm telling you, don't try 140 kilometers. At 80 or 90 kilometers, just make… set the bowling machine at 90 kilometers, and stand there and see how the ball comes at you, it's crazy, okay? <laughs> so every ball is different, the way it's coming at you, so it needs to be handled. Everybody who's there, we must understand, is very good. They may look clumsy, they may get out for zero, but they're very good <laughs> with what they're doing. But somebody stands out like this, this reminds me of uh, there was a motorcycle rider who was known as… whose name was Kenny Roberts, who won the world championships five times in a row. People couldn't believe it because you have to win sixteen races across the country to get to the championship. All the machines are prepared by the top companies and the talent is at the highest level. But winning five in a row was considered unprecedented and impossible. So they asked him, how do you do this? So he said, uh, I go out of control with control <laughs> I understand that very well <laughs> I live every step of my life like that, always out of control but with control <laughs> This is what everybody is seeking. They want little madness in their life but they don't want to go insane. But their longing for safety and security makes them insulate themselves from that little madness. Then they wonder, what's happened to my life? It's become boring and no good. They try to step out, then they get hit by something. They again build walls around them. This process is going on. So when you take an example like this, one thing is the zeal. Another thing is, loving what you're doing, really loving what you're doing, that's what you <coughs> want to do. Now, 
I think recently Virat Kohli came on the television and said, my only problem is I get angry. I want to be like a monk, something he said, <laughs> whatever his own version of being wanting to calm. With the kind of talent he has, he is going to be a phenomena. He's going to be a, a new cricketing story on the planet. Not just one more player, he has the necessary ingredients. I said this when he was seventeen, I saw him playing in Singapore for the under eighteen team or something, he was captaining that team at that time. I saw this boy playing and then only I said, this guy will go far. And then he vanished out of my radar for almost five, six years and then he surfaced suddenly one day in the test <laughs> in the Indian team and now he's going the way he's going. If he learns to be a cool fire, not a fire that burns him up, then he will do things which probably has not been done for a long time.